everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my July update for the Panners Pan Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Elizabeth aka Kooky Pans over on Instagram as a way to spotlight your favorite panners and beauty content creators. And a lot of people are doing it and it's a really fun project. I am working on five panners at a time as well as like a hobby panner just because I'm painting a lot of makeup and like doing one last makeup item is, I don't know, it's fun, okay? I just like doing it. We have a bit of an exciting, uh-oh, Nathaniel's coming. We have a bit of an exciting update today because I am able to roll out two panners and I have two new ones to bring in. So the first panner who is rolling out has been in for quite a while, and that is my good friend Lisa. Her channel is Banning, Panning, and Beyond. And for her, I brought in my Safari Rain palette by Colored Rain, because it is both of our favorite palettes. And of course, I had to pick her favorite shade in the palette, which is the shade Tigress, which is the orange shade. And if you know Lisa, you'll that will make perfect sense. My goal was to hit pan on it, and this morning, after a total of 21 uses in this project, I hit pan. So now I have two pans in this palette, and I'm I'm working on this one in my favorites and oldies project, which, spoiler, still haven't hit pan in it. So Lisa is rolling out, and this shadow, today I'm wearing it on my lower lash line, and I really love this palette. And I really love Lisa, but sadly, it is time for her to leave this project and roll in somebody new. The next panner I had in this project is Lainey from Makeup with Lainey. And for her, I decided I was going to bring in one of my Davina shadows because she loves Davina. And last year, I believe, in 2021, she had this shade exosphere and her pan those eyeshadows and she hit pan in it so this is what mine is looking like there's a pretty good a pretty good dent going in there i've so this is my july update i skipped june so in the past two months i've used this twice today my wings are a little wonky but today i have it topped on top of my green liquid liner that's in my 50 shades of green project but it's i just like doing this because so you can see the shift green and blue and green and blue but this shadow is beautiful and I really really love it a lot and I'm glad that I'm I'm getting some good use on it and I'm still quite a bit of ways from pan I think but I'm getting there slowly but surely I'm getting there the next the next panner has also been in for quite a while and that is Valerie or VMRT over on Instagram. She has not succumbed to the peer pressure of her own YouTube channel yet. We're, we still haven't given up though. So Valerie, I initially, let me, I mean, I might as well show it to you even though it's not in this project anymore. No, I mean, I don't know if you can see how messy my desk is, but I have palettes everywhere. So originally for Valerie, I had my Viseart Neutral Mats and my Venus Lime Crime XL2. The My goal for both of these was no pan left behind style, and I brought both of these in for her because she kindly gifted both of them to me. So I hit my no pan left behind on this a long time ago, and it has taken me an embarrassingly long time to hit no pan left behind on the Lime Crime palette, but I finally have. I'm wearing the last two shades Oh, hi. I'm wearing the last two shades today. Mystic and Myth. Mystic, you can't... It's, this is more of a satin, and this is in, like, the very middle part of my eye, and then Myth is more in here. But what I did is I actually put Davina Asteria on top, so that's why it's got that greenish Mommy. shift. And then I have Mommy. another Mommy. shadow. Mommy. What? Mommy. what? 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 I'm still hungry. You're still hungry? Okay, I, I'll be done in a minute. Can you wait until I'm done? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to lay on the floor. Okay. That's a good place to sit. Okay. Uh, I actually have another shadow for another panner 
on the outer portion of my eye, but I finally... Hello. Maddie, I'm trying to talk, honey. I finally got all of my uses in on this palette, so Valerie will be rolling out as well. Next panner that is in is Stephanie. She is over at Instagram. Uh, her handle is Fupans, and she is she and her nail polish. I don't even want to know. She and her nail polish posts are what finally convinced me to purchase some Holo Taco polishes. So I bought twelve because I don't do I don't do anything small. I just go all out right from the get go. Apparently. So I brought in all 12 polishes and I just want to use each of them once. So as of May, my May update, because that was my last update for this project, I'd used six and then I used three more in these past two months. So I've got three more to go. But the three that I used, and then if I can remember to find the pictures in my camera roll, I will. But I used this, this is a black hollow in electrostatic. And then I think... I feel like I used these two together, but I don't remember. This is a cream. It's high tea hibiscus. This is a really pretty color. And then this is from their like winter, I don't know what they called it, polar lights or icy lights or something like that. This is the topper in celestial lights. So I used those three polishes. I have three more to go for Stephanie. Then the newest panner to roll in is Ashley from Little Miss Lipstick. I rolled her in at my last update and for her I decided to bring in my Sydney Grace Loose Pigment in Pistol because I still remember like one of the first videos of Ashley's that I watched she was doing a get ready with me with Sydney Grace products and she used this and this just I've I've thought it looked beautiful ever since and I don't know what she's doing. And it just reminds me of her, so I wanted to bring this in for her. My goal is to use it 20 times. I've used it four today. I have it, it's kind of hard to tell, but I have it in my outer outer corner. You can see it's kind of like a little more purpley, but it's a beautiful, a beautiful shadow. It's just, look at how big this thing is, like, why? And then finally for my hobby painter, I was... Not that I don't love Shen Rao, but I was kind of hoping that I would be able to roll her out this month because she's been in for a long time, but I'm, I'm close. Hopefully next month. But for Shen Rao, obviously I just, I had to pick my teas to drink because she loves tea. She has her tea of the day in like every video. So I have a ton, I have like 30 different teas from David's Tea. When I tell you that I don't do things like half-assed, I barely drink tea and yet I have 30 different teas because when I went through my tea phase I had to have all the tea so I drank four more out of whatever however many I had left I think I have like three or four left now so I had the just peachy which was really good the hot chocolate which is really good the palm tango which was really good and the cocoa mint cream which was okay <laughs> that was also probably the oldest of the bunch so it may have lost some flavor, but I have like a little video clip of all of my teas and I have all the ones that I've used crossed out and you'll see that I don't have very many left to use. So that comes to the rolling in new panner portion of this video. There's two people that I get to roll in and I randomly generated them off my wheel, yada yada yada. So the first panner that I picked was Dawn from The Pretty Glamour over on Instagram. She, she is a lover of indie makeup. I mean, makeup in general, but indie makeup and green especially. And she loves Copacetic Cosmetics. So I knew for her, I had to bring in a green shadow from Copacetic Cosmetics. The only problem was like narrowing down which one I wanted to bring in. So the one I ended up choosing for Dawn is this one called Fern. I'll give you a little swatch. I I think I'm going to try to hit pan in it. I have never hit pan in a Copacetic Cosmetic shadow, so I don't know how long it will take, but I want to try. Darn it. So this is Fern. It's just a really pretty shiny green, and I don't think I've ever used it on my eyes even once, so 
It's the perfect shadow to bring in for her. The second panner that I am rolling in is Dalin from Outward Processing. And obviously everybody knows she and Steph Lyons created the Partners in Cream Project Pan. And I know a lot of people bring them in together, but I actually feel like I'm getting eyeshadow all over my boob. Oops. But I actually have a different product in mind for Steph, so I am just bringing in Dalin on her own. I hear destruction. And I do want to honor the Partners in Cream project because I, that's one that I haven't joined in. It's just, I like the idea of it, but I don't know. I just, I haven't jumped in yet. So this is my way of joining that project without really joining the project. So for her, I picked this Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm in the shade Euphoria. This is like a cream highlighter type product, I think. It's definitely, I mean, it says balm, so it's definitely got like a soft consistency. It's not a powder at all. And you can see it's an iridescent purpley pink situation, so... don't know that I've ever worn this either. Maybe once. I don't know if, if the shift is really coming out. I mean, it's it's pretty subtle, I think, so it's it's not going to be like a, a bold swipe of purple on my highlight, on my highlight, on my cheeks. It's also not glittery, which is nice, but it's it's got like that sheen. So I'm going to bring this in for Delyn and... Do you hear that maniacal laugh? And I think I'm going to bring it into Hit Pan. This is this is a pretty old, and I have barely touched it. Maybe actually only touched it to swatch it. And I want to actually get some use on it. And I do actually really like these, like, shifty, purpley, pink, like, iridescent highlighters. So we're going to see how long it takes to Hit Pan. Like, it's a cream product, so I don't think it'll take me too, too long. But I'm also not going to... I mean, I'm not one to like dig my finger. I'm not one to dig my finger into a product just to hit pan. So this could take probably several months, but those are the panners that I am rolling in. And sadly, we're saying goodbye to Lisa and Valerie in this project, but I hope you will go check out everybody that has been in this project past and present because I have everybody linked down below and they're all awesome people. So I hope you'll go check them out. <clears throat> that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.